question number 67 let's look at the first option for option A we do not have to draw a diagram statement 1 says some mistakes are blunders which is a positive statement statement 2 says all blunders are mistake again another positive statement statement 3 says no crime is a mistake which is a negative statement now we know that from two positive statements we cannot have a negative conclusion and vice versa hence option A is incorrect let's look at option B it says no crime is a mistake so if we keep it like this no crime is a mistake there are two separate sets now the next statement is statement 5 some crimes are blunders so you can keep it like this my conditional statements are intact statement 1 says some mistakes are blunders maybe may not be we can't be sure so because of insufficient data this option is not correct statement C or option C statement 6 says not all crimes are mistakes now this can be interpreted in two ways one some crimes are not mistakes or no crime is a mistake let's take the second scenario which is a possible scenario not all crimes are mistakes now statement 4 says all mistakes are blunders so we can keep it like this all mistakes are blunders now statement 5 says some crimes are blunders I don't know we don't have sufficient data for this there is another probable scenario that blunders can be the superset of both these sets that is also possible but we do not have sufficient data to come to a conclusion that some crimes are actually blunders hence the correct option for this is D none of these 